Hello and welcome to my gardening channel Mark's Garden UK, a channel which as you would probably expect is all about gardening. I'm based here at this beautiful cottage called Rose Cottage which is near Nantwich in rural Cheshire, England. And so if you're interested in garden design or garden projects or indeed anything gardening related then hopefully this is the channel for you. So please join me on my gardening journey by subscribing to my channel below and hitting the notification bell. Let me show you what you can expect to find on my channel. One of the first videos you can expect to see will be me finishing off the formal parterre at the front of the cottage. Then moving around to the side, I'm going to create a Mediterranean border here using all the palms which have been in pots for 10 years so they'll really enjoy getting their feet in the ground. So that will be my Mediterranean themed border just here full of palms and formians and cordylines and grasses. Then just here, just underneath the kitchen window, I'm going to create a little alpine garden using a trough which I discovered at the front of the cottage. Moving along to the side of the kitchen door, there's an old border here which was populated by roses. I'm going to transplant those roses and because there's a path along here, I'm going to plant lavenders and rosemaries and have a scented themed garden so that you can enjoy the scents as you walk past. I'm going to demonstrate how to build a fence or screen or windbreak across here which will help to partition off this area of garden at the rear of the cottage. So behind this privacy screen there'll be a patio and an eating area and then at the back here I'll have my collection of tree ferns and banana plants. And here are the remains of those two huge conifers which you've already seen me removing. This is the piggery wall at the back of the cottage, so named because it's where they used to house the pig. I'm going to convert that into a little potting shed. And then here, sheltered by this wall at the side of the pig pen, I'm going to build a little fish pond which will house some koi carp and some goldfish. Panning around now to look across the lawn. This whole expanse of garden will be divided into small garden rooms. Each one will have a different theme. To the rear of the garage is an extremely useful compound. And this is a very sheltered space because it's got hedges down one side, a lovely wall there, and it's surrounded by this wonderful six foot high fence. So it's a kind of behind the scenes space, if you like, an ideal space to hide away some of the workings of the garden. And of course, to overwinter some of the less hardy plant varieties, such as the olive trees and my collection of tree ferns and palms and agapanthus. The shed is brilliant storage and I intend building a greenhouse or polytunnel just here to the right of it. Just to the side of that compound here, where there was an old compost heap, I intend to build a pergola with a roof on it where I can sit and enjoy views over the open countryside beyond. I'm going to keep bees in this lovely buddleia border here. The beehives are coming from a rooftop in London. They've already been promised to me. And then over here, quite near to these fruit trees, I'm going to have a productive area of garden where I'm going to build some raised beds and grow vegetables and fruits and all kinds of produce for the kitchen. There's going to be a new wildlife pond and a bog garden and wildlife log pile and all kinds of things to encourage the wildlife in from the surrounding fields. So please do join me and Simba the dog on our gardening journey. Subscribe to my channel, hit the notifications bell and comment below and I'll see you soon.